Hi students, welcome back to the class. Hope you all are going well. In the previous video, we discussed about the exercise questions on page number 43 and 44. Today, we are going to discuss about chord, angle and arc. A diameter of a circle divides it into two equal parts and joining the ends of the diameter to a point in any part gives a right angle. Children, what about a chord which is not a diameter? The parts are not equal nor are the angles right. Okay, here AB is the chord and AB divides the circle into two unequal parts. First draw an angle P from the end points of the chord AB. Children, can you say that how do we get the angle at P? It is depending upon the central angle formed from the chord AB. Here we join the central angle AOB. If angle AOB equal to C degree, then angle P equal to C by 2 degree, which means it is half of the central angle. Okay, once again, angle formed on P equal to C by 2 degree and it is half of the central angle. If we are changing the positions of P anywhere above the chord AB on the circle, we get all the angles are equal to C by 2 degree. Using this, we can say that any chord which is not a diameter splits the circle into unequal parts. The angle got by joining any point on the larger part to the ends of the chord is half the angle got by joining the centers of the circle to these ends. Okay. Now, let's look at the angles in the smaller part. Here, AB is the chord and angle AQB is the angle formed on the smaller part. Angle AQB equal to 180 minus C by 2 degree which means 180 minus half of the central angle. The angle got by joining any point on the smaller part to the ends of the chord is half the angle at the center subtracted from 180 degree. We have talked about the central angles of an arc in class 9. We can put the above result in terms of this idea. Here A and B are any two points on a circle. Divide it into two arcs. Each of this arc can be called the complementary arc or alternate arc of the other. Now, let's see the angles formed on the each arc. The angle formed on the larger part and the angle formed on the smaller part. The sum of angles on alternate arc are supplementary. The sum of angles on alternate arcs are supplementary. Here, angle P and angle Q are the angles on the alternate arcs then angle P plus angle Q equal to 180 degree. Okay. Hence all angles made by an arc on the alternate arc are equal and a pair of angles on an arc and its alternate are supplementary. Let's move to the exercise questions on page number 53. Question number 1. In all the pictures given below, O is the center of the circle and A, B, C are points on it. Calculate all the angles of triangle ABC and triangle OBC in each. Here we have to find all the angles of triangle ABC and triangle OBC. Okay, 
Let's move to the answer. In the given figure, we have to find all the angles of triangle ABC and triangle OBC. First, we have to join OA. Here we get two isosceles triangles AOB and AOC. AOB and AOC. Angle OBA equal to angle BAO equal to 20 degree because AOB is an isosceles triangle. Next, consider the isosceles triangle AOC. Angle OCA equal to angle CAO equal to 30 degree. Therefore, angle A equal to 20 plus 30, 50 degree. Using this, we have to find angle O. Children, can you say that? What is angle O? Yes, it is double of angle A. 50 into 2 and it is equal to 100 degree. Consider the triangle BOC. It is an isosceles triangle because OB equal to OC. Radii of the circle. Here, angle OBC equal to angle OCB equal to 180 minus 100 by 2. So, it is equal to 80 by 2 and it is equal to 40 degree. So, angle OBC equal to angle OCB equal to 40 degree. Therefore, angles in triangle ABC are angle A equal to 50 degree, angle B equal to 60 degree, angle C equal to 70 degree. Next, angles in triangle OBC are angle O equal to 100 degree, angle OBC equal to angle OCB equal to 40 degree. Is it clear for you children? Okay. In the second question, we have to find all the angles of triangle ABC and all the angles of triangle OBC. From the figure, angle C equal to 180 minus half of the central angle. Here, central angle is 110, so 110 by 2 it is equal to 180 minus 55 degree. 110 by 2 is 55 and it is equal to 125 degree. Therefore, angle C equal to 125 degree. Consider the isosceles triangle AOB. OA equal to OB equal to radii of the circle. Angle OAB equal to angle OBA equal to 180 minus 110 by 2 and it is equal to 70 by 2 equal to 35 degree. So the equal angles of triangle AOB equal to 35 degree. Next, consider the code AC with central angle 40 degree. Then the angle ABC is formed from the same code AC to the same part of the central angle AOC and it is equal to half of the central angle 40 degree. Therefore, angle ABC equal to 40 by 2 equal to 20 degree. Next, consider the code BC with central angle 70 degree. Here, angle BAC is formed from the same code BC to the same side of the central angle BOC 
and it is equal to half of the central angle 70 and it is equal to 35 degree. Therefore, the angles formed on triangle ABC, angle A equal to 35 degree, angle B equal to 20 degree and angle C equal to 125 degree. Next, the angles formed in triangle OBC, angle BOC equal to 70 degree, angle OBC equal to 55 degree, angle OCB equal to 180 minus 70 plus 55 and it is equal to 180 minus 125 equal to 55 degree. Hence, we got all the angles of triangle ABC and triangle OBC. Is it clear for you children? Okay, this is all for today. Here is an activity for you to do. Watch this video carefully. You can ask your doubt through WhatsApp. Thank you.